What's up guys, welcome to the next uh, weekly ramble video. Uh, if you don't know what this series is by now, it's just where I sit and ramble for a little bit about things going on in the world of magic, going on with the channel, going on personal lives, things like that. Uh, we announced last week Will is having his baby uh, in just under a month, actually a couple weeks from now in fact. Uh, and so we're all really excited about that. A lot of you have given him your well wishes and we've passed them on, he's seen them, he really appreciates it. Uh, we'll probably talk about this a little bit more on the podcast episode when he can actually talk about it. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a big, big thank you for all of the well wishes. He obviously really appreciates it, uh, he and his wife both. So thank you guys very much. Uh, thank you also for entering in the Guild Kit giveaway. Uh, I don't know, I, I mentioned this on the podcast episode, I believe yesterday, uh, but something that you guys don't usually, I guess, hear about is that we do have goals for like subscriber counts, and we have goals for likes and views and things like that. We have all these goals in mind, uh, and one of the original goals when we started this year uh, was we wanted to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the year. That was our goal. We were just like over a hundred or something like that at the start of this year and we smashed that 400 goal months ago uh, and so we decided well we'll reach a stretch goal hopefully of 500 subscribers and we smashed that uh, about a month or two ago and so it became very apparent that we're growing at a faster rate than we actually anticipated growing so thank you to you guys and a lot of it I know is thanks to these giveaways you guys really appreciate those we like to give back as much as we can obviously we're a small channel it's not like we get paid much at all if anything to do this uh, but it's stuff that you know sometimes people can't get their hands on a specific product or it's out of their price range or something like that and while we can't give away tons of awesome stuff all the time we do want to give away a little bit that way we can give back in some way uh, and so we really are appreciative of the opportunity to give back to you guys uh, and hopefully build up the channel at the same time. And you guys have smashed this. Our new stretch goal has been 550 subscribers uh, and we're just about there. We were at 548. I think we lost a couple as we usually do after a giveaway, uh, but we're our goal is 550 by the end of the year. And with all you know the data points from the past year, uh, it looks like we're gonna smash that as well. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, congratulations to our winner as well. We announced that on the podcast episode as well as just on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff uh, on Monday. So thank you guys very much. Uh, and that does segue into our Christmas giveaway, which I mentioned on the last weekly ramble. Uh, Will and I have been talking a lot more about what we want to actually give away. Uh, and I mentioned last episode that we wanted to give something away that was a little bit more than just our norm uh, Normally like if there's a new set that comes out, we'll give away maybe a fat pack kind of thing uh, Or whatever they're called now uh, In this case the last obviously was a guild kit giveaway So they released the new guild kits. We thought those would be fun to give away uh, So any new product that comes out we try and you know kind of throw out there commander decks, etc uh, For this one we want to do something a little bit bigger uh, we don't necessarily want to give anybody a budget because we want to hear your ideas But we want to hear basically what you guys want uh, There's a lot of awesome product out there if need be we will happily choose because there's a lot of cool stuff that we can give away But uh, we just want to make sure that we're giving away stuff that you guys want and free cards are always great But if we can make it something that is really special to you guys uh, Then that's absolutely the goal. So the plan is uh, for now in the comment section below if you would uh, put something that you'd love to just have given to you that is magic related um, So that's basically it for right now in terms of the Christmas giveaway We're probably gonna have one more in between now and then uh, At the end of this month. We always do one kind of monthly uh, So we'll probably do one more in between now and then but after that we'll be doing hopefully a much bigger uh, bigger size giveaway than we normally do uh, So we're pretty excited about that. Hopefully you guys are too um, of course, Ultimate Masters is still kind of the big topic right now. There's not any new information on it as far as uh, spoilers or anything like that going on right now. We're supposed to be getting those in just a couple days. Uh, so hopefully by the next weekly ramble and certainly by the next podcast episode, we'll be able to talk a little bit more in depth about that. Uh, but the unanimous decision seems to be that a lot of people feel like it is way too expensive, uh, which is definitely something that we agree with. Uh, but hopefully there's some value there. Hopefully there's something in there 
uh, aside from the already very insane value. Uh, that makes it a little bit more worth it. So we'll see. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot to say about that at this moment, but just something to keep in mind that we'll be talking about uh, on the upcoming episode. I believe we also spoiled the next episode. What was it? It was something really weird, uh, but we'll talk about that in the next podcast episode. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, are deck tech ideas. So on the last episode, we talked about GP as well as Pro Tour Atlanta. Uh, so we looked at standard and modern, mostly standard, uh, but we did focus a little bit on modern. Uh, and I want to get your input a little bit on either deck lists specifically that you want to see or formats that you would like to see deck techs in. Uh, it seems like standard seems to be kind of unanimous is like the one that most people want to see. And there's a lot of good standard decks right now. Uh, that we could do a deck tech on and I'm happy to but uh, if you're a modern player and you want to see a deck tech on a modern deck or something like that or you have a specific list that uh, you feel is really really strong or just a really fun list it could be the jankiest list in the world but if it's fun uh, then we would happily happily do a deck tech on it if you just send it to us uh, again comment section below is the best place to do that you can also email us at it.resolves.mtg at gmail.com, but that seems a little too complicated. So uh, you guys do whatever you want to get that to us, but we would love to do a deck tech on either a homebrew of yours or a deck that you're actually interested in playing either in a tournament of some kind or just at your local FNM or just for fun with other people. Uh, we do, I will say, kind of avoid Commander uh, just because Commander already sort of has their, uh, their big YouTube uh, presence. Uh, in, in the form of the command zone and they do fantastic jobs already uh, we do not want to step on those toes because we are not at that level yet uh, yet keyword but um, they they do a fantastic job on their commander deck techs and it's a lot to actually put into a commander deck tech versus just a standard deck tech or modern a regular 60 card deck so uh, a lot more cards there unfortunately so that does make it a little bit tougher but if you do have any, any any other deck tech ideas, please let us know again in the comment section below. Uh, a big call to action for from you guys this week uh, is giving us Christmas giveaway ideas that uh, hopefully will be really, really awesome as well as deck tech ideas. So uh, let us know in the comment section. Um, I honestly don't have much else to talk about. There's not a whole lot in the world of MTG that went on this week other than GP Atlanta uh, as well as Pro Tour Atlanta. Uh, but we talked about that on the podcast episode, so I'm not really going to reiterate that. I will say Boros Aggro took like six of the top eight places in the standard event. That's insane. Uh, we talked about it at length on the podcast, so again, I'm not going to go into it. But uh, really interesting deck list. Definitely check it out. Very white weenie-esque, um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, so pretty stoked for that. Uh, really stoked on modern right now. There's a lot of really cool decks running around. Uh, very diverse. We even saw Infect in the top eight, which nobody expects Infect to do well right now, uh, but they were great apparently. So uh, really interesting stuff, but unfortunately nothing all that new. Uh, and so this might be a little bit of a shorter weekly ramble. I'm sorry if you guys look forward to this every week and it's a little bit cut off, but uh, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And again, please make sure to uh, give us giveaway ideas as well as deck tech ideas down below so we can get working on those uh, as soon as possible. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching this week's weekly ramble, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure make sure God, to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, and of course, make sure to subscribe, stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys in the next weekly ramble video.